Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting lesson on the turtle library. Today we're going to add a splash of colour to our turtle drawings. By the end of this lesson you'll know how to make your drawings more vibrant and visually appealing using colours. We'll also explore how to draw more complex shapes by combining colours with the programming concepts that we've already learned. In Python's turtle library you can easily change the colour of the lines your turtle draws and the fill colour it uses for shapes. This is done using the colour, begin fill and end fill commands. Let me show you how it's done. In this example, t.color red sets the pen colour to red. The t.begin fill and the t.end fill commands are used to fill the circle with the same colour. The t.circle50 commands draws a circle with a radius of 50. And the screen.main loop command ensures that the window stays open so you can see your drawing, though with the CSUK IDE it's not really needed. Let's see this in action. So after importing the turtle library, we're creating two objects. One is the screen, which is where the drawing is going to take place, and the other is the turtle, or the pen if you like. We're going to set the turtle to the colour red. We're then going to set it to begin filling whatever shape it draws. We're then going to make it draw the circle of a radius of 50 units, and then we're going to make it end that filling process. And this is the result. A beautiful red circle. Now let's use what we've learnt to draw something more complex and interesting, a colourful spiral. By changing the colour each time through the loop, we can create a multi-coloured spiral. Now in this code, we're using a list of colours and cycling through them. The loop runs 30 times and with each iteration, the turtle moves forward and turns right, creating a spiral. Let's take a closer look at this code. So here, after we've created our screen object and our turtle, we're setting the turtle speed to 10 so that it draws fairly quickly. We've then got a list of colours, and if we can understand how this works, each of these items has got an index, so it's got a numerical value. This is index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2, and so on. So if we wanted to get red, it would be colours 0. If we wanted to get yellow, it would be colours 2. We've then got a for loop. Now this is where we are cycling or iterating through 30 times. So i is the stepper value, it's going to start off at 0, then on the next loop it's going to become 1, then it's going to become 2 and 3 and so on until it gets to 30. And within each of these iterations we're going to pick a colour from the list using that stepper value. We're going to then draw or make the turtle move forward by an ever increasing amount and then we're going to make it turn right by 144 degrees. And this is the result. A lovely colourful spiral. Next, let's draw a series of concentric circles. That's circles that share the same centre. Each circle will be a different colour from the rainbow. This will create a beautiful rainbow of circles. In this code, we first position the turtle and then use a loop to draw each circle in a different colour and with an ever-increasing radius. Let's take a look at this in action. So like before, we create a screen object, our turtle object, and we're setting our turtle to a speed of zero, which is the fastest speed that you can have. We've got a list of colours and we've got a variable called radius set to 50. For colour in colours, sets up a loop which will cycle through each item in the list. So colour will be red in the first loop and then in the second iteration it will be orange and then it will be yellow and so on. And what we're doing within each loop is we're setting the turtle colour to the colour that's picked. We are making it draw a circle with a radius of 50 and then we are increasing the radius by 8 so that the circles get bigger and bigger for each loop. Let's take a look. And there we have it. Okay, in this lesson, we've learned how to make our turtle graphics more colorful and dynamic. By using different colors and shapes, you can create complex and eye-catching designs. So keep experimenting with colors and shapes and let your creativity shine. Thanks for joining me today. Keep coding, stay colorful, and I'll see you in the next lesson.